Hey what's up everybody I hope you all are doing absolutely fine this is Rudra Ditte and in this video we are going to talk about iPhone 7 but hey what wait a second why we are going to talk about iPhone 7 in 2020 a phone which is more than 3.5 years old then what's the point and there are certain questions coming in your mind that is it still worth buying is it any good to keep using this phone in 2020 or is it any good to buy or use this phone with such outdated design well a short answer to all this question is yes now let me explain how so let's begin the video without wasting any time well first and foremost let's talk about the software support so apple gives at least five years of major software updates to their iphones and this is the reason why the live durability of iphone is so great However, in the Android world, only Google and OnePlus manages to give maximum of three major software updates. So definitely Apple is the king of software support. And I already received the latest iOS 13.5 update here in my iPhone 7. So definitely this is the plus point of iPhone users that even an old iPhone, a 3-4 year old iPhone is still working like a charm. Okay guys, now let's talk about the display quality. So it has 4.7 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 750 into 1334 pixels and it has 326 pixel per inches density. Now two things comes to your mind. First, it has a low resolution display and second, it is an IPS LCD display. So is there any reason not to complain about this device? So firstly, I want to tell you that don't see specifications too much in case of iPhones. Now let's talk about the display quality. So having the fact it has a LCD display, but please don't make mistake by comparing this display with other mid-range devices which has LCD display because this display is far superior than other mid-range devices and if we talk about the color accuracy which is excellent in this phone and the colors are very contrast very punchier and outdoor visibility is also very nice so overall display is very good now what about the display resolution which is just over 720p well considering the fact it has just 4.7 inch display with a 326 ppi density and that much resolution will give you enough sharpness you can read any text and you can watch any content without any problem so yeah overall it is a very usable display even in 2020 and while talking about the display size, I remember that how compact this phone is and the advantages of compact phone is that you can easily access your phone with one hand, you can reach all four corners so it's easy to use and also it's lightweight and I always prefer small phones over the big phones especially when you use with one hand. So definitely I like the form factor of iPhone 7. So now guys let's see the performance. So Apple iPhone 7 has A10 Fusion chip which is based on 16 nanometer technology and it has 2 GB of RAM. Yes guys just 2 GB of RAM. But as I told you don't focus too much on specifications in case of iPhones because the performance in iPhone 7 is just pretty smooth and you will not find any lag or anything. You will just enjoy the performance because it's so smooth and so fast. And yes, it's true that with just 2GB of RAM, multitasking is not so good. But I believe that many of you guys will not open 15 or 20 apps in your recent tab. So it's fine with 2GB of RAM in iOS, not in Android. With 2GB of RAM, it's fine in iOS. And now if you ask about gaming performance then yes gaming performance is absolutely fine it, it can handle any type of game any heavy or casual games you will not find any lag any frame drops even in high games such as PUBG but I will not recommend you to play heavy games because battery will drain like a hell after playing such heavy games in iPhone 7. Okay, now let's talk about the battery performance. So battery is one major downside of this phone. If you are using this phone as a daily driver and if you are a heavy user, then you have to charge your phone twice or thrice per day and battery in normal task is also bad. Okay guys, now what about the camera, which is one very highlighted thing of iPhones. Then it is also a very capable camera and on the back it has 12 megapixel f1.8 single lens. So let's see some photo samples. Okay, so let's start with daylight shots and it clicks some amazing daylight pictures and if you are someone who love to shoot outdoor pictures, then it might be your primary smartphone camera as well. And definitely uh, the dynamic range is not that good, but other than that, daylight shots are just amazing and colors are also very good. However, the selfie shots in daylight uh, scenarios is also very good, but in low light, the normal rear camera and selfie both struggles a lot. However, it has 4K 30 FPS in video recording mode which is just amazing and if you are someone who loves to record video 
through your phone then iphone 7 is also a great choice and yeah in daylight you can shoot some amazing videos as well in low light it struggles same as the pictures and the f selfies but overall it is a very decent and capable smartphone camera okay guys now what's the conclusion so for existing users i will say that you can still keep using this phone in 2020 or even in 2021 if you want because you will get all the future updates performance is very solid camera is very capable average display quality as well one major downside is just a battery if you are okay with that then definitely you can use and if you are strictly an ios user and you want to purchase an ios device then i will recommend you to go with iphone se 2020 or google pixel 3a or upcoming pixel 4a because i know some people don't want realme and redmi they want top tier brand and if you are someone who are looking to buy a top tier brand in a budget then these two options are great you can go with that and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you then smash the like button and share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel i will see you very soon in my next video until then bye bye take care